to get the Handsome Pete side every now and then, man. Handsome Pete right there on the South of the Straight show. Dan Straight and Sideshow Nate hanging out with you tonight, everybody. Uh, we heard uh, 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 Spike the Media before that. And uh, if you were listening in, we, we worked, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get those bands together for a big show on the 20th down at the uh, the Music Factory. Hopefully this will happen. I mean, I, I'm hoping that uh, hoping that we have uh, at least maybe Elu or maybe Kirk or maybe even Aaron. Maybe you guys, if you are tuning in, you're checking us out, man. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta listen in. You gotta watch the show. Hit the damn fucking subscribe button. Subscribe yes. button. Subscribe. Jeez, I can't even say it. Let me just turn it over to our guest tonight. We have uh, in studio. We have Jordan Ari and brother Gabe. Yes. Hello, hello, yes. hello. Yes. Jordan and Gabe that are in with us tonight. Yeah. And now you guys, um, you guys are a couple of uh, well, music producer, music video producers, or would you like to be called uh. movie producers? Which would be the best? There's a lot of different ways to put it, Nate. Uh, I like to say almost <laughs> a freelance cinematographer. So freelance cinematography. We, we can take on just about any project nowadays i haven't had anything thrown at me that we haven't really been able to handle yet so really okay. porn. yeah we're taking on- <laughs> we're taking on everything no problem uh I'm not gonna bring of all the things to say <laughs> dan you you the gay porn is the I, first thing that nothing. pops into your head okay 20 right. bucks is yeah, 20 bucks 20 brother bucks. 20 bucks 20 bucks gotcha yeah, yeah. uh so <laughs> um now i gotta ask you guys how, how jordan where did you get the idea to do this so was it sure. i mean when did you start uh, videotaping what made you want to start recording things? What made you want to start producing videos? You know, I mean, sure. where, where, where did that all begin? Um, it's a it's a great great road. It's something I've been passionate about my whole entire life. I've been always a big storyteller. So mm-hmm. um, now that I get to tell my own story right through my own media you can say so Mm -hmm. that's been something that's been transpiring in my life for years and years um we just made this an official business about uh two and a half years ago okay so um the history and the learning behind it definitely come back very very far but um officially three years ago we kind of took this on as a real legitimate business you started getting that. serious about it no kidding For man sure. now you, uh, your equipment i've noticed that you've got uh you, there's like there, there's two other cameras that are in here we already have you know we already got all of these cameras that we've got set up in here now there's so there's two other ones all my cameras are getting jealous of your cameras because <laughs> You, you got, 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 got to document everything. Yeah, yeah. I, that is a number one thing, too. I uh-huh. think that a lot of people, they don't realize that you have to document. Like, if you want to create a great video, keep that shit rolling mm-hmm. all the damn time, yep. dude. I mean, it doesn't it, yeah. just pop up like that. No. Edit Literally later. always. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You yep. got hours and hours of editing that happens afterwards. I, I used yep. to have to do it for the Coke Hogan videos. When we mm-hmm. were shooting the yeah. Coke Hogan yeah, videos, you, did. you and him, man. I'm shooting shit behind the scenes. Dan doesn't even realize that I'm doing this stuff. Well, you know, I was Dan's, helping right. shoot. Right. Well, you you're, you're yeah, the one that's it. writing up the storyboard for everything, you know, Absolutely. on the back side of it. And uh, it. as we're, we're videotaping Mr. Coke Hogan, you know. Oh, he's <laughs> crazy. He's crazy. Hard, a, he's a hard guy to figure Whirlwind out. guy who right. just blew into northern Michigan out of nowhere, Roller you know. Coaster. And uh, so, uh, you know, we, we would have to sit there and do that. Now, what, what would you uh, what would you say to somebody that's like a, uh, a young f- aspiring filmmaker, you know? Like, what would you what would you say to them as far as, like, how to go about it, you know? Sure. Like, well, how do you start doing it? So, I mean, there's so many resources and tools nowadays that you can just learn off of just Mm -hmm. by yourself so just keep asking questions always strive to do something more creative Mm -hmm. because the next person's going to be more creative than you so just always keep pushing and making everything you do just the absolute best right right no that's always ask questions learn every day and be passionate about and now, it. Now, do you think equipment is, like, number one? You know I mean? Do you have to have, like, the best equipment out there, or what is it? that? that not, uh, not necessarily. Like I said, do your research, because you can get something that's more or less good market value nowadays mm-hmm. that's going to do just absolutely awesome stuff. Back in the days, I mean, you had to be in a helicopter to get anything from the air. Um, that's yeah, not the case yeah. any close anymore nowadays. So, right, yep. yeah. You guys yep. use the drones. Yep. Footage with yep. a drone that you could have ever dreamed with, with yeah. a helicopter. Yep. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, There's so many, like, free softwares out there too that you can just you mm-hmm. know find if you just do a little bit of digging what do you guys use if yeah. you don't mind me asking um, we strictly use adobe right now adobe um, so okay. we transpire in between be 60 to 70 different apps through adobe so okay. one project itself could almost have 10 different apps included into it um they are adobe in my opinion right now is just killing the game mm-hmm. it is definitely the industry standard 
and they're just i mean awesome. if you want your head on fire i can make your head on fire nice <laughs> <laughs> that's cool uh the uh the, you were speaking about the drone there now you guys sure. recently you guys had some drone footage what is the name right. of that video that it just so i can put it out there so everybody sure. else can watch it what is the name of that um so it's going to come right off of our youtube channel and that's jr and that's j space awr you can find everything we do on there and that's one of our vlogs we shoot a lot of just day in the life videos mm-hmm. and this was one where we found something absolutely crazy in Gaylord where we ended up talking with people, been there 60, 70 years, had no idea it was there. Really? And it yeah, is yeah. absolutely mind-blowing That's I mean, when you, you look saying. at the video. Yeah, the video is like, uh, I'll do, uh, give a brief synopsis of it. It's like you guys, I, I mean, you guys are driving down roads and stuff. Okay, this is the one. This is the, the exact fucking way that the video goes. They're driving yep. down roads, and yep. then they come up to a dead end, and then they come up to another dead end, and then another dead end, right, and then right. they stick the, the drone up in the air, and they find like a, this giant cross that's in the woods, yep. a star that's in the woods, and a whole bunch of like and these are rows of trees. These aren't just yep. like uh, right, random yeah. things, you know. These are yeah. all trees. Yeah, you talk a crop circle. It's like this is that's what blew us away first because when we zoomed in and got the this. detailed closeness of it, it wasn't a crop circle mowed out or pushed down right. fields. These are full grown trees. That's incredible. That are man. creating this yep. really cool yeah. like, something you can see from the sky. Oh yeah. yeah. That's yep. the only way you can see it. It's the only way there. you can see it. Yeah. The Dude, only how does nobody know about way. this? You know, right. the, the, the people that own this property are like, oh, yeah. No! Yeah. Yeah. No way! <laughs> right, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've so, had a good opportunity to um, well, talk the with the family and all that, but well, just well, like you well, said. Well, here's the beauty of it. You guys did get a chance to go in there with the drone yep. and film it, so now nobody else has to because the footage is already there. Yes, yes. Okay? The footage is shot now. It, no need to be shot again. Yeah, it's yep. a done yeah. deal. Yeah, no, so. no need to be shy about it either. Because right. I mean, this is incredible. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. Go how watch big the video. This thing. Yeah. Now, when is, but, now is there a video coming out? The video is already out. Uh, yeah, 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 video, yeah. Okay. yeah. I haven't seen it. There. That's why you got to look well, for it. Dude. What am I, I going to see? J Space A W R Productions. That's what you can find on that, on, on YouTube. Yep. Yeah, you'll find things like as fast as I do. No, we find them way faster than you do, Dan. Trust me. I am the one that. It connects with the audience because I'm on their level. I'm way behind That's right. you guys. That's right. That's Fair. my position here. You know, True. stay in your lane. <laughs> That's where stay I'm in at. Your lane. Now, yeah. like when it when it comes to like the uh, the drone, I've been looking sure. into buying drones myself because Super fun. I lo- well, yeah, they look like a blast, you know, but they look really. Ca- I got to be careful with it because I'm the type of guy that's just gonna like woo, you know. Let's yeah. see what I can do with this thing into someone's yeah. hair. Yeah, right into somebody's hair or into a tree or something. Co- I'm gonna be breaking hair, it. You know? He's yeah. be like, right, oh, right. Dude. Yeah, uh, but. <laughs> I uh, I was I was wondering like uh, when it comes to buying these things, do sure. you do you have to really look for the ones that got the good cameras on it, or they, do they come with a decent camera, or is the cameras usually shitty? I mean, how how, how do you, you go about looking for that? It's an interesting game when you talk about drones for sure. You have to spend a very good amount of money if you want quality with it. Okay. Um, yeah. there's so many toys out there. I want to call them not equipment that you're going to use for something like this. Right. Right. Um. You can you can go anywhere from basically about two thousand all the way up to twenty five thousand depending shit. on what. Um, wow. We use uh, two different ones that have self gimbaled cameras on them, um, but you can buy things that can throw something like that big guy up there on it and then do the same thing. Really? But, um, when I talk drones, I push DJI as the software as okay. the company. We haven't messed around with anybody else besides that. Um, we use them for our drones and our gimbals. Okay, so, all right. They're just beautiful. Technology. What kind of a drone do you have? What's your what's um, your uh... right now? We use the Inspire Four, and then we also use the Mavic Pro. Okay, um, depending on the scenario. Uh, about a month ago, we were filming for uh, Delta faucets in a facility. And uh, we got to fly drones inside of their facility. Oh my god, that'd be so cool! Around. Like flying through a through a warehouse yeah. type of a thing. So I mean, just millions and millions of dollars of equipment, and uh, Whoa. I had a. <laughs> Kind of did like a funny outfit together, and then we had to do hard hats with it. So, <laughs> very serious people, and we we're kind of flying airplanes around them. <laughs> have you ever have you ever crashed one of your drones and been like, "Oh, my yes. life is over with"? Yeah, hundred percent. Oh no, yeah, that's, oh, that's just the way have, she goes. Yeah. When you crash one, how do you fix it? Do you put it back together, or what do you do? You, you send <laughs> it in? Like so fragile that you might as well just like it's get a, a new one, or if you have the insurance plan that comes with some of them. Yeah, oh, I mean, okay. you might get lucky to right. claim on that, but no know. doubt there. Name by that knows some. 
about drones, you know how bullshit this insurance claim is on it. <laughs> so it it's like, it's just, just completely, they say, put it all in the box, send it to us, we send it back to you. So I've sent one that's almost been completely cracked in half to them. And then I got letters back that said, oh, well, this isn't going to work. Well, then <laughs> send the broken yeah. one back. Yeah, yeah, send me back maybe, the one. Maybe it's a good lesson. Maybe go get your own insurance policy on yeah, it through your exactly. own insurance company. And just, you mm-hmm. know, that way yeah. you're definitely covered. If exactly. They, if they try to do something It's just like such a crazy game, though, because, I mean, so now that we do this, uh, we make money off it. We obviously have to go through the FAA now, mm-hmm. which is just Oh, my gosh. You got to get, like, licensed insane. in all this. Yeah, especially through a commercial aspect, how we use it. So um, depending crazy, on what dude. the job could be, we have to pull certain permits for it. So if we're going to be over flying on people, um, we got the right license for that. If we're going to be out of yeah. range, we got the right license for that. I mean, that, yeah, that list fly just keeps over going. people. Right, yeah, right, right. It's, I it's, guess it's a very stuff. serious thing, Absolutely. no doubt. Absolutely. It's, it's an aircraft. I mean, yep, if it crashes but, onto somebody, yeah. it could hurt two or three people yeah instantly. yeah yeah and that thing's communicating with all the airplanes up in the air so yeah because you gotta be you gotta going be going on. in between radio frequencies left and right and you oh, gotta well, i mean that's good yeah, yeah gosh, wow yeah. you can be yeah, in a lot of trouble get yeah up there. they go high huh? how high do you yeah how high is there what do you think um right now i can do about 353 meters which is roughly um not in the clouds but it's close enough to the wow. clouds wow and i mean when we just filmed that um that last little tree structure there that was something where we brought our max payload drone and it was just high enough to see that no shit I mean, wow dude that is so cool could go on that one pretty much and now do you recommend like uh with, with, when it comes to the cameras for the drones like mm-hmm. 1080p or 720 or like do you um, what, what would you what are you guys using we we strictly shoot all 4k for drones okay 4k so, um but we're starting to get into a certain scenario we were just talking with a company the other day and they just brought out a new drone that has a zoom feature to it so that's a brand new ballpark that's kind of cool too yeah no because i mean you talk about crashing the drones all the time we um we push the limits when it comes to that damn thing yeah and um sometimes that means you're going to hit something right right way that goes a a zoom feature we could you could Mm -hmm. just stay up in safety and then zoom in where you want to go and not only that like if you i i used to tinker around with a lot of things if you've ever seen the uh, coke hogan um uh the coke life no, not the Coke Life uh, <laughs> one. The uh, Coke Zero, the Coke, Coke Zero nice, one. Okay, nice. at the very beginning of the Coke Zero one, I'm I'm it's moving like, the camera forward, yep, right? Yep. I'm moving forward and zooming out at the same time. Yep. So you're getting that cool effect, you yep, know? Yep, like yep. Uh, that would, and that was cool. what would happen with a drone. Can you imagine what that would yeah, be like exactly. with a drone? Oh, most definitely. Wow. Yeah, dude. and that's like that's like that. Um, that's known as almost like a parallax in a way because you're zooming out but coming on the opposite direction. Yeah, and yeah. That's that's used in Hollywood almost every. Day. Yeah, That's it brings the uh, the background. It looks like the background's like, like moving behind oh, you, yeah. you know. But yeah. yeah, it's oh yeah, it's Coke pretty Coke trippy. Like looking at a yeah. Coke Zero, like whoa! <laughs> I'm, awesome. Big big fan of that movement. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, now I like the way you move it. <laughs> Coke Hogan was actually featured in a uh, a music video yeah, that uh, this guy produced. If you guys remember the uh, Becoming Human Spirits video that was shot at Mary's Tavern up in Gaylord last year, uh, this is Shout the guy, out to Frankie. Shout yeah, out to Frankie. Frankie. Yeah, Frankie. Yeah. Thank you, man. My boy up there. We had a just beautiful, beautiful story mic, on you. that. And- <laughs> <laughs> look, look, Frank. <laughs> what a dick. Uh, <laughs> the one and only time. <laughs> you didn't um, even have to mention it. You oh, God. But go on, go on. Right. What were you saying about no, Frank? I mean, um, so he, he put together this beautiful story about his grandfather on the right. video. And then we kind of got together, got our story plot down on it, um, casted a crew. Got Adam Petrie there for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. the yep. beast. Yep. He, was, he was the beast. Rah. That was a. It was a very Tim Burton um, expressed yeah, yeah. film. Yeah, that we yeah, kind of You guys propelled that. him to superstardom. Yes, we did. In we many did. Ways. We had to. We had to push and push with that. But <laughs> know, once we got that fear out of him, that was good. It was. You know? it was yeah. Was yeah no, big because big he was man. the biggest guy in the whole bar. I mean, oh, yeah. and that was yep. the rule was we needed to get the biggest guy in the bar. And he was kind of cagey at first. I noticed too. Yeah, it was. It was like let's bring this. Let's bring the beast out of Adam Petrie. Yes. And right, the next right, thing right. you know, now he's a superstar on YouTube. He's just right. a fucking amazing yep. superstar yep. on yep. YouTube. People walk up to him in Gaylord all the time, like or about really? Petoskey, and they're like, "Hey, aren't you that guy?" And he's like, "Why, well, yes, I am." You know, and <laughs> struts it around, man. He's uh, something else. And he wears women's yeah. perfume. All, he wears- nice. That's a great touch. Well, no, he said because women buy perfume because they like it. They like the smell of it. So if yeah. he wears it, he can attract. 
more women. He, so yeah. that's the way to do it. That's, that's yeah. the, he, he's, you gotta, we're doing it all wrong. Yes. You got to put a business plan together and copyright that. <laughs> I'm telling you. Now, how long yeah. did it take you to produce the uh, the Becoming Human video? Um, I want to say, so that was an awesome thing. So we got to film that within one day. Yeah. That was a one-day yeah, film. Yeah. You can't ask for much better on that. Right. Um, I've got for footage, everything we're I've doing. I've got footage of you filming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, See, I need more of that for the website. I got to get There's it. There's no doubt <laughs> there. Some right. behind the scenes, <laughs> yeah. I'll give it to you. Sorry, I'm sorry. Continue on. No, no. Oh, good. Um, so we got to film that in a day. Incredible. You don't see that a lot. And then um, probably ended up getting that together within about three weeks, about a month. Mm-hmm. Production really? On That's that. not so bad at all. That for... was incredible. Yeah. yeah. You guys did it really quick. Frankie's job, I mean, with that whole story and everything he did was awesome. I was the just video so, was really cool, So too. glad to be a part of that, no All doubt. the spirits. Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah the way it's, it all it's came a really together. neat idea. Yeah, yeah he, Frankie kind of came up with the idea, and yep. I think he put like a storyboard together, kind of. Yeah, like, and this that's what it should be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's all it was. I mean, we uh, we just got done shooting with the Dayton family. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we've actually been filming with them for almost close to a year now. I yeah, want to say be on our uh, third video, fourth, fourth video. Fourth, I want to yeah, say fourth. really, yeah, no yeah, kidding. And awesome, uh, the first two we did were um, just very based out of Flint. We um, kind of went around to most of the hardest parts in Flint, uh-huh. shot some really really epic video, and then the third video we did was a more story based one, like we. Did with the spirits but um if you want to put this in perspective (laughs) we shot a story-based video about a guy living with his wife that has this banging ass neighbor but at the same time has a best friend that just shot a guy living in his basement Super, Whoa. super, super cool how that that's, works out. Um, that's deep. Look that up. Um, that's called Bootleg What Would You Do? That's on YouTube right now. Okay. Uh, that's getting some, bootleg. That's getting from, some from, from Flint Town. Don't yeah. fuck. Yeah. Don't, don't fuck with them. <laughs> <We, yeah. laughs> yeah. I love Dayton family. You're your yeah, yeah. yeah. number one fan. Yeah. That was that was some incredible stuff. We go down there, and I mean, we're we're very family based with them now. So we got mm-hmm. this huge group of people we mess around with. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember the first time we went down there, and I was kind of just looking it all up, seeing what we were dealing with, and I was just like, "Holy shit." This guy's filmed with Tupac. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, that's, that's yeah. super, man. So they were doing like, it right. back in those days. Because yeah, they yeah, were going yeah. Hard, dude. Dayton family strong back in those days, and Dayton family even stronger now. Bootleg shout yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Super, super awesome guys. Super humble. We still want to get with them and get them on the show too. Uh, yeah, that's been definitely. one of the. Uh, that's one been one of your goals there, Dan. I mean, yeah, when, you when know, are you going to be? Uh, they're, 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 he's pretty good friends with our buddy Chris Piliafis, the guy that uh, from yep, Stomachache yeah. Crew. Yeah, Stomachache Crew, and he's also he knows him. And well, I'll tell you guys what we are going to our fourth video is actually going to be shot in gaylord so he's oh, okay. bringing his whole crew up so <laughs> we get that shot we're going to do a lot of different green screen ideas so we can't travel with that as much right. so we'll bring him on the show get, yeah. get we'll do it that'd be it. that'd be intense yeah. man Pretty that'd be we're great we're all gonna have Stupid. a rhyme session it's gonna be like a, a childhood dream come true for yeah me. yeah yeah well yeah. you know what i want to show everybody the uh, becoming human spirits video i gotta yeah. ask you yeah. one more yeah. question oh, about that um now uh, uh i had so many other questions too that i wanted to ask but we're running short on time um now what was the most difficult part of shooting becoming human spirits uh what was what was the hardest part um (laughs) yeah oh gosh i mean you always run into different problems and stuff on set but Mm -hmm. i want to say the hardest part was casting people that have never been in a music video before absolutely yeah right step step Jump. Most definitely. Yeah. Like, when we go down to Flint and uh, we're filming with Dayton Family and Bootleg, like you can tell these people have done a video before. Right. I mean, that's right. just how that goes. Yeah. But. Right. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Because I mean, it, 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 we had we were, we were just kind of all relying on like more alcohol was the uh, the key. Yes. You yes, know. Yes, we used <laughs> real alcohol in that. That's what's I not. I think no Coke bullshit. Hogan yep. did yep. request Coke. Okay. Yeah, I think yep. Coke Hogan had some fair. Coke. He that's had Coke fair, though. But I think he also had some beer too. I'm pretty oh, sure. He, his mm-hmm. buddy uh, Morgan, the captain, they were mingling up in there. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Bust. Heck yeah. <laughs> what is that damn noise? The damn noise is back. It did. Yeah. It did come First time I've heard. You're hearing it. Back. Okay, good. It's not yeah, just, just me. Good, good. good. I, I hope that our viewers aren't listening to this too. I hope you can't. You guys can't hear that. <laughs> I hope. Well, Jordan and uh, and Gabe, thank you guys so much for coming in tonight, yeah, man. It's very well. very cool. For, thanks thank for you, you guys making the trip down here. And if anybody's out there, you want to make your own music video, these are the guys to get in touch with okay i'm going to show you a video that they produced for a band here in 
Northern Michigan that is just it, it's phenomenal. I mean, the, the whole production of it, the way that it was shot, very, very professional. I remember when you guys were sitting there with a skateboard rolling through the thing yeah. at one point, you know? I mean, yeah. don't give up too many of the. Okay. <laughs> That's the secrets, right? Don't give up the secrets. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. But uh, here you go. I'm going to play you guys uh, Becoming Human Spirits video shot last year at Mary's Tavern in uh, Northern Heck Michigan yeah. here. Galen, Michigan, yep. man. Thank you again, yep. Jordan and yep. Gabe. You guys yep. are Thanks incredible. Check out, and check out the channel, everybody. Throw that subscribe down yes. if you can. Um, Facebook, you YouTube, and on the internet. So. J underscore we AWR Productions. Look yes. for that on YouTube. Here you go. Here is uh, Becoming Human Spirits in its full entirety.